a Muslim in the Discord saying to me, <laughs> the Jews, they killed the Messiah and you support them. <laughs> Abdul, you see here, you see the stupidity of the Muhammadan. The Muhammadan believe that Jesus was not killed. But in order to convince you that you should not support the Jews or Israel, he say, ha, 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 the Jews killed Jesus and you support them. You stupid idiot, your God, Allah himself, he support the Jews. You want to show you? Isn't it your God in the Quran says, go and kill the Palestinian, commanding the Jews? In chapter 5, verse number 21, Abdul. And because the Jews refused to kill the Palestinian, Allah get angry from them. Huh? If there is any Muslim would like to join us, uh, yeah, and by the way, in the video, just to show you the deception of those people, this guy in the video, he said that the Quran was so beautiful to the point when he did recite the chapter of Al-Ahzab, sorry, Al-Najm, everyone was in the mosque when he heard the verses of Muhammad, he bowed down, including the pagans. Which one? The Prophet والسلام, goes to the Haram, to Mecca, and he begins to recite Surah Al Najm out loud before everybody. He continues on reciting this beautiful and very powerful in meaning Surah until he reaches the last section of the Surah. The narration it mentions that after the Prophet والسلام, recited this verse, all of the people in the Haram, the believers, with the Prophet ﷺ, with the mushrikeen that were opposed to him, they fell down in sujood before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us get you busted. <laughs> so here you will see that the, when he was reciting the, the Najm, Muhammad, he mentioned the three daughters of Allah. And he said, their intercession is a must. Their what? Their intercession is a must. And this is why the reason those people, they bow down. Not because they like the Quran, but because he just mentioned the names of their goddess. This is the Arabic Ibn Kathir. I will post the link for you. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Here it says, the messenger here did read, he was reciting. Let me translate for you using Google. Remember in the video he said that the reason those people did bow down because the Quran was so amazing. But reality is the following. He said, the messenger of God, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, recited al nam in Mecca, and when he reached this place, have you seen Al-Lat and al -Azza, and Manat, the other third, he said, then Satan put it on his tongue, those are the highest cranes, and their intercession is hoped for. They said, he did not mention our gods well before today. So they prostrated and they prostrated. Did you hear it? In the video they said they prostrated because the Quran was so beautiful. Who is Abdul who dare to join us and tell us why Muslims are lying? Goblet. Yo, so um, I mean the verse is saying um, do you not see that it's not saying he prostrated to them. I mean, there's a commonly known story about the uh, about the surah. I mean, in general, if you look at the end of Surah Al-Najm, that says that. So uh, it's no, not that uh, at the uh, end of the surah. Slowly, slowly, we didn't understand. So he said, "Doesn't you see Allah and al uzza and what he said after?" After Yeah. Do you not? No, tell me, tell me what, why, why you stop? Why you stop? Tell me what he said after. Did you see Allah al uzza and what he said? Continue. <laughs> I want to pull up the. Did he say? Uh, did, he, did he say? And their intercession is hoped for. Wait, what's the what's the verse number again? 
Do you not know which verse we are talking about? You know, I know what I know. I've remember, I know the verse, but I don't know the numbers. So I want to open it in my grand. Uh, which verse you want to talk about? I don't know because they are connected. Yeah, here, no, no, here, no. here we are reciting chapter of An Najm. Muhammad was reciting yeah, the well, chapter of An Najm. He received satanic. Yeah, well, he received satanic verses. Okay. Yeah, well, verse number, so I can look at it as well. well you you, so want, you want the it, verse? You, know? you you want where the interpretation appear for this story, or where Allah will Just cancel will cancel it? Huh? Just, just the number for this verse. What um after eighth of Allah will lose that. Just this verse number, so I can look at it in my Quran as well. This is you will find not in this verse. You will find interpretation in chapter twenty two, verse number fifty two. Oh, verse number fifty two. Uh huh. Wait, wait, give me a sec to open it. Oh my god. Yeah, but what I'm, what I was saying is that the verse is saying. Do you not know? And wait, um, Surah Najm, verse fifty-two. Mm -hmm. Wait, let, wait, let me let me do this. You're a prophet, and you know why the Muslim line in the video is saying that the kuffar, the pagans, they bow down with Muhammad because the Quran is so beautiful. When the story is saying they bow down because Muhammad worshipped their goddess. Why are you Muslim lie in the video? This video we are playing for you. Hold up, hold up, it's best to what, you, what kind what kind of religious people those lying that those people they bow down and they worship Allah because the Quran was so beautiful when in fact the reason they bow down as you see and this is Ibn Kathir and we can show a tabari and other interpretation saying it clearly they bow down because Muhammad was worshiping the three daughters of Allah not the opposite it was Muhammad they don't they don't say that because I'm looking at we know at the end of the surah as I look I'm no, looking at the that, read, 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 read with me and when Muhammad he said and their intercession is hoped for they said they said he did not mention he's they said he did not mention our gods well like this before today so they bow down and he bow down with them so so because Muhammad worshiping the gods the goddess, the female goddess of the Arab, they bow down and they appreciate Muhammad worshiping their God. This is why it says in front of you, this is Ibn Kathir, this is my statement. My, 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 I'm looking at Ibn Kathir right now and it's not saying that. No, it says that. Uh, it says that. You are reading Ibn Kathir in English, correct? Um, well, I'm looking at, well, hold up, but let me switch to English. No, no, no. Are you, are, yeah, are, you, are you reading Ibn Kathir in English? No, it's not, yeah, no, no. It's, yeah, yeah, what, yeah, what? In English or Arabic are reading? Uh, but, but at first I was looking at Tabari for where he's saying this, that he was worshipping them. L that listen, listen, that. I want you to answer me. Why a Muslim can't answer? Does it say that in Ibn Kathir? Yes or no? In Ibn, in Ibn Kathir, right now, it's not saying that Muhammad ﷺ... No, it says that. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir in front of your eyes. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. You see it? And this is Ibn Kathir. The English translation is false. They cut it off. They took it off. Here Ibn Kathir says, قال, When he arrived to this point, he said, Did you see Allah, Al-Uzza, Al-Munat, Al-Tharith, Al-Ukhra? Then Shaitan, he threw in his tongue, This is the three daughters, the grains, the, the, the high, the, 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 the holy, their intercession is a must. They said he never mentioned our gods in such good way before. So they bow down and he bow down. And this is Ibn Kathir in front of you. Do you know Arabic? Yeah, I'm reading as well. It's All not, right. It's as long as long you know Arabic, hold on. As long you know Arabic, can you read and translate? Because maybe I'm lying. Can you read what you in the screen and translate to everybody? Yeah, that's what I say on there. Uh -huh. So why in the video they are lying? Saying because the Quran was so beautiful, 
the pagan Arab, they bowed down worshipping Allah when in fact it was Muhammad bowing down with them worshipping the three daughters of Allah. I want to look at every single... Um, what? Every single... Do you need to call a I'm friend? Do, do you need to call a sheikh mm -hmm. to help you? Well, it'd be best to discuss this with a sheikh, you know, because they would have proper understanding. But what you, this is saying from... The sheikh, my, the sheikh you know, he can answer better? You, you think so? The sheikh, he can do a better job? Why you don't call a sheikh right course, now? Be, okay, why you don't call a sheikh right now and let us join us? I mean, you. I mean, I don't know any who have got on speed dial, you know. But I'm speaking that. But this okay, you, but my, my friend, my friend. so my friend, listen. So the, the the Arabic in front of you. You speak Arabic. I speak Arabic, and you agree with me. This is what it says that Muhammad he bowed down to the three doors of Allah, and the pagans they bowed down with him, saying Muhammad never praised our gods like like this today as he did today. So they bowed down. He bowed down, and they bowed down. So Muhammad now. Based on what we read, you and me, and we agree, Muhammad now is worshipping the goddess of the Arab. How you explain that Muhammad is a prophet of Allah? And you Muslim, you keep saying Muhammad he was teaching monotheism. And now Allah today, Muhammad prophet, your prophet, worshipping four. Three daughters of Allah plus Allah. So where is the monotheism of Muhammad at that moment? What I'm saying is that at the end of the, at the end of the surah, it literally says this says that at the end of the surah it says what? what is what is agreed upon? A says that like you know, person the Quran where you have to do sujood when you read at the end of Najm. Yeah, so he bowed down to the three doors of Allah. Oh. Who care? He just bowed down. Well, when we, he just bowed down uh, to he, the three daughters of Allah. You're a prophet who you claim that he is monotheist. Is it true that he did just a second ago? Worship the three goddess, the three female goddess, yes or no? No, but to worship them, this area is saying is a remembrance verse. It's a reminder for us that remember when they worshiped it. There is says that at the end of the surah, and it is known that you perform says that whenever you reach these parts. No, 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 no. Don't, don't mix things, don't mix things. It says I'm that you're a, okay, you're a prophet. Okay, listen, let us repeat again. You're a prophet, and you agree with me. He says. Those goddess Al Gharaniq, the highest, he called them the highest. Their intercession, their intercession is a must, is a wished for. So when you're a prophet saying the goddess, the the high goddess, the three rows of Allah, and he mentioned their name, he said Allah al Wait, hold on. Are you saying intercession? Wait, hold on. You're saying they made intercession, reading from going a, a few pages back, he's saying um after eight, do you not remember and the third one? Uh -huh. He's not saying anything. Don't 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 mix, don't mix. You are taking now those verses, the Muslim they took it from the Quran. They are not exist no more. Those verses is not exist in the Quran no more. This is supposedly what Shaitan right now. I'm reading the Quran, Surah al Najm, ayah, ayah 19 to 20. Okay. After eight to one letter, but this is saying, uh -huh. but, exactly. Okay, but, but where is where is the sentence in that verse where it says, in the shafa'at of Allah to Taja? What in the shafa'at? What in the next verse? Where hold up? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm missing. Where we can find this part? Where we can find this part? In the screen, I'm showing to you. Wait, wait. Shafa'atahunna, yeah. which means they are females, Turtaja. Where in the chapter you are reading, it says this line. It's gone. You Muslim took it off. It's, oh, no, my brother, my brother. He's explaining about them and said he's not. You can see in the part before, in the he's brackets, that's the He's explaining what? He's explaining what? He's not saying this, the green is part of the Quran. You can see. No, on top, no, he he's part saying, the... no, he's saying. He said shaitan, he throw on his tongue. Shaitan, you know, throw, in his recitation, in his recitation, Muhammad is reciting Quran. He's not making a speech, correct? No, this, this is not what Ibn Kathir is saying. When he puts it in the brackets, those are the parts of the Quran. And then he goes on to explain it inside the black and the green. No problem. He puts okay. 
And yeah, then, well, so, the so Muhammad was yeah. reciting the Quran, and Shaitan he throw on his recitation the following sentence. Do you agree? That is not what it's saying. I'm looking it at the. Uh, no, it, it says, read it carefully. فألقى الشيطان على لساني. He translate. My guy, I'm reading. I'm reading from every single. From, no, 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 no. It's uh, in front of you. Don't, don't make me. Uh, you know, don't make a drama. It's in front of you. I'm highlighting for you. Read and translate okay, to people. Does it say Shaitan he throw in his recitation in his tongue? Those three daughters of Allah, their intercession is uh, is hoped for. Does it say Shaitan he throw God. on his tongue? Yes or no? Wait, wait, hold. On. I want. I want to. Um, uh, so the final treating you said that they were down, before you go anywhere why you are not answering me does it say in ibn kathir in arabic in the front of your eyes shaitan he throw on his tongue to worship the okay, three okay. daughters of allah yes or no 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 I, that that's literally that's that's what it's saying after eight of letter will that is saying the ayah then said call the Shaitan put this on his word. Tilka on Thank his. Uh, he made him say this. Thank you. Tilka. So but Shaitan, what? Shaitan like, used the tongue of Muhammad, used the tongue of Muhammad, making him worshiping the three daughters of Allah, claiming that they are the high goddess, and their intercession is hoped for, which means make supplication for them to intercede for you. So now, and then, like that, and, and that, after he said that, that, and after he said that, he bowed down, he bowed down, listen, he bowed down, and they bowed down with him, correct? And the Arab, they said, he, he never, he never mentioned our goddess in such good way before, so he bowed down, and they bowed down together. So now, the pagan Arab and the pagan Muhammad, both are worshipping four gods, the three daughters of Allah, and Allah, and the reference in the front of you. My guy, my guy, you're ignoring you're ignoring the fact that in this whole page, it's not saying anything about intercessions. It's saying no, that, it says that, not that it says that it says that here we go. I mean, what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. He say oh, look on he said, I mean, even Google got you no. busted. Here we go. This is Google translation. Here it says their intercession is hoped for. Uh, which area number is the same intercessions? The next area in uh, listen, listen. Like, you, are you are you? I don't know what uh, what are you eating. This is it not ayah no more because supposedly this is what Shaitan he made Muhammad say. So this is the satanic verses. Their intercession is hoped for is the satanic verses which your prophet receive. So now did your prophet say and their intercession is hoped for? Yes or no? Brother, because the Quran does not look things I want to um solidify with you. Man and you can, you can explain that. as you wish. Does Ibn Kathir say is that Muhammad, when he was reciting the Quran, he said the three high grands of Allah, the three daughters, Manat and Allah al Uzza, three, all of those, their intercession is hoped for. Does it say that or no? Brother, Ibn Kathir is not the only one. I'm looking at all of them at no, 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 don't, don't, jump, uh, don't jump. See, guys, he, the Muslim, the Muslims are Muslim. There's no decent Muslim ever exist. A decent Muslim is an ex-Muslim. Why you keep avoiding my question? How many times I need to repeat the same question? Did Ibn Kathir say that your prophet said their intercession is hoped for? Yes or no? Guy, because you're trying to single out, you have to look every single chef does this whenever you out. I have the right to single out because I'm asking you why you don't say yes. Say yes. If it's there, say what yes. But look, you don't want to say yes. You, you, uh, listen, listen. You don't want to say yes because this is a proof that your prophet is a false prophet and he worshiped the three daughters of Allah and he bowed down to them. This is why you refuse to say yes. It's in front of you. You speak Arabic. I'm showing you even Google translation. And you did read it for us already. But now you are saying to me where it says their intercession is up for. It's in the front of you. So does Ibn Kathir says that your prophet said their intercession is up for the goddess? Yes or no? You see how they lie? No dignity. The reference in the front of them. The website of the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Government website. It's in the front of their eyes. Still they are, they play games. 
Can you believe it? Satanic, this is satanic religion. If those people, they have little, little belief in any God besides Satan. Wait, sorry, sorry. I was I couldn't hear you for a few seconds. Sorry. Okay. okay. So now I hear you for let me repeat my question for the last time. I'm not going to keep repeating, please. I'm not a kid. You're not a kid. So let's talk as adult. Does Ibn Kathir says that you're a prophet when he was reciting the Quran, he mentioned the three daughters of Allah. And he called him the Gharaniq, which means the goddess, the high goddess, the high goddess. In the Shafa'at uh, Turtaja, in the Shafa'at Turtaja, their intercession is hoped for. And then he bowed down and they bowed down with him. Did, does it say that? Yes or no? Okay, now that part about calling them um, the best, that part is addition. Because that's what I'm not even considered saying as I'm no, looking no, no, at it right no. now. I want you to but say no. why you don't answer. Did your prophet say their intercession is hoped for? You said to me two minutes ago, where it says that, I said, it's in the front of you. Does it say that their intercession is hoped for? Yes or no? You can bring me the ayah where the prophet says that I'll agree, but no ayah says that. And man has been ayah in It's in the front of you. This is not an ayah no more. This is the ayah of shaitan. You Muslim, you took it off from the shaitan. That's what Ibn Kathir is saying. Ibn Kathir is saying, shaitan, he gave your prophet. Listen, listen, what's wrong with you? The, uh, just say that Ibn Kathir says that yes or no. Okay, my brother, there are two types. There's two Did sides. Ibn Kathir One says thing? that yes or no. Brother, there are two sides to this. Okay, you see, if guys, you want to say that, no, 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 you know, I, I have no time for to. I'm not going to repeat the question at, at ten thousand times. What a bunch of cowards! It's in the front of him. Did Ibn Kathir say yes or no? He will not say. Can you believe it? How? satanic they are i just use google translation in front of your eyes if you don't want to say yes it says that why because you are satanic because you know if you say yes this is what he said that mean you're a prophet is a satanic man let me do the translation again in front of everybody here we go using Automatic Google translation, not Christian Prince, nobody else. In the front of your eyes. He said, the messenger of God, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, recited al nam in Mecca, and when he reached this place, have you seen Al-Lat and al -Azza, and Manat, the other third, he said, then Satan put it on his tongue, those are the highest cranes, and their intercession is hoped for. Is hoped for. He said. He did not mention our God's well before today. So he prostrated and they prostrated. See? They were worshipping for God. Muhammad and the Arab pagans, the monotheist Muhammad, the biggest fat lies of monotheism. Muhammad now is sitting with people who they are worshipping the three daughters of Allah beside Allah. The family of Allah, the whole family. Muhammad, he worshipped the three daughters of Allah. He called them goddess. He called them the high goddess. He said their intercession is hoped for. The Arab, they said, wow, that's good. We don't have a problem no more. We worship the same gods. It's in front of you. They said, the, the Arab, he did not mention our gods well before today. So they prostrated and they prostrated too, together, worshipping the three, four gods, the three daughters and Allah.